Thank you for that. Now we're going to say good morning to you in Madison, Wisconsin, where we finally can say hello winter. Feels like winter out there. Temperatures down into the teens. This morning feels like six actually with the wind. Picked up an inch of snow yesterday here in Madison. So let's see what else is coming our way because we have another weak little system tracking into the area. We look at the latest conditions out there right now. We do have some snow being reported in Minneapolis, but it's really light kind of flurry activity. Uh, not any kind of big deal snow like the snow that we dealt with earlier in the week. You can see where that those winds are coming from the west. See these little wind streams coming like that? So that will mean some lake enhancement still don't have much ice cover, if any, on the Great Lakes. So still looking at some lake enhancement for maybe a couple of showers out, snow showers out there today. Temperatures, though, um, while they're cooler than they've been, uh, they're certainly not crazy cold. I mean, we're looking at still above average readings in Minneapolis, 29 degrees. Chicago still 30, which is very close to average. Indianapolis will be about at the freezing mark for today. Minneapolis, we do have that chance for snow showers. Again, very light, not expecting much accumulation temperatures topping out I'm um, still above average at 28 degrees that we're starting off in the teens this morning so still starting on a chilly note at any rate um, but more typical chilly than anything else so that's the latest how it's happening here in the Midwest I'm uh, with my water in hand no fancy mug like Reynolds has um, we are looking for the snowflakes to start around Albany. As you can see, they're fairly light. The snow falling around Baltimore and D.C. right now as well. Temperatures here are actually above the freezing mark, and uh, we are going to be looking for, though, temperatures to be steady and falling through the afternoon. So later today, expecting more problems on the roadways. Snowfall QPF looks like this. Bigger snowfall when we get some help with elevation. Anna Red is sharing that. Now let's take a look at some of the other spots that are um, chilly this morning in the Midwest, like you saw around the Fargo area. We've got the chill. We have it in Minneapolis. It is 8 right now. Chicago Chicago 17. None of these numbers are actually what it feels like though outside. <clears throat> Knock about, you know, 10 or 15 degrees off of this and that's what it feels like at the moment. Strong winds out there, gusty winds bringing in the snow squalls. Your visibility might not be down to blizzard conditions like we saw yesterday, but it is going to get reduced by blowing snow at times today. And uh, and the chill is just in the air and that's really, that's widespread. The snow showers are going to be very hit or miss, but the chill everyone gets to experience. Today going to 33 in Cleveland um, and 32 in Cincinnati. Look at Indy, 27 degrees everywhere. We were going to knock off 10, 15 degrees from this temperature, and that'll be your wind chill. Morning lows are going to be on the cold side, too. Minneapolis, for us, our average low is 11. You know, it's not been that bad this winter, right? That's what most of us have said. Here we go with our cold. We've got temperatures dipping down overnight tonight to one below. Tomorrow, only a high of 11, and then one above tomorrow morning. And then by Friday, you can see we're still on the cold side, still running below average, which we have not seen a lot of so far this winter. Today, a big day um, in the south, and that would be Mardi Gras. So let's uh, let's talk about that. I mean, Chicago, you've got the chill up here as well. You might have thought about going to Mardi Gras to, uh, to warm up. Not this year. We're going to have a big party, but it's going to be a chilly one. And today, we are going to look for temperatures, Anna Ritis, to uh, feel like they're in yeah. the low 40s. Well for your weekend, the first full weekend in May. Spring mode is definitely on. Temperatures are up this week. Um, thunderstorms are in the forecast, so everything that you would expect for spring is out there, including some mountain snow. We'll see that too in the Rockies, which is not unusual for May. Now, let's take a look. Severe weather today, tomorrow, watching right across the plains, um, the traditional areas that you would expect for May thunderstorms. We'll see that into Thursday too, right here from Oklahoma down into Texas, and extending up into Missouri, and even into parts of the Great Lakes, thunderstorm Chicago. We'll see that Thursday into Friday. The front finally gets a move on. In most of the week, high pressure blocks this from moving east into the south and east of mid-Atlantic. But by the weekend, the front comes in. It loses a lot of its energy. It doesn't have that to help it out. So luckily, we won't see severe weather in the south and east. Just a few showers coming your way, places like Charlotte and Atlanta by Sunday to Wisconsin. So let's start with that. We've got a forecast for you in Omaha. Yesterday it was all about the blowing dust and the low visibility uh, and you can smell it in the air. Today it's going to be a thunderstorm threat and we see that beginning this afternoon continuing into the evening and continuing overnight. So this is a long stretch. I want you guys to get ready for this. Be ready for an extended period of watching for potential warnings. Today, we're going to watch things get going in this warm sector. Lots of warm, moist Gulf of Mexico air coming back into the area. We're looking for triggers, the dry line, the front, the low pressure, all going to be triggers today. Lots of convective available potential energy. Convection is just a thunderstorm. So if you've got convective energy, you know thunderstorms can grow really tall and strong across this area today. We've got plenty of that. 
lowest couple thousand feet of the atmosphere, strong winds feeding into that area, strong winds there, and that coupled with the fact that we've got some stronger jet stream level winds crossing right into this area, right over top of those low level strong winds in Kansas. So that's why today we've got a high threat of thunderstorms here, likely thunderstorms, I should say, all the way from Hayes to Omaha, Nebraska. Hail is going to be one of the biggest concerns, but there's also a tornado risk and a strong damaging wind risk as well. Central Kansas, the tornado risk is a 5 out of 10 on the Torcon. You go up into southeastern Nebraska, southwestern Iowa, it's a 4. The risk actually continues up through the state of Iowa, uh, extending into the northern and central part of the state with a 3 out of 10 on the Torcon.